Admire fishermen harvesting hundreds of tons of cockles. Have you ever enjoyed delicious and nutritious blood cockle dishes? Perhaps for Europeans, this is a rather strange type of clam and rarely appears on their menus. But in Asia, blood cockles are a type of seafood that brings high economic value to local people. Fishermen Blood cockle farms can harvest thousands of tons of output per crop with profits of up to millions of dollars. Today, join us to discover how fishermen harvest hundreds of tons of blood cockles each time they catch. Admire fishermen harvesting hundreds of tons of cockles. These cockles are native to the intertidal zones of the Indian and Pacific regions from South Africa, east to Australia, and as far north as northern Japan. They have great economic value and are raised in mud flats throughout much of their range. Especially on the beaches and island areas of Korea, blood cockle farms can yield about 8 tons per day and boats harvest with nets equipped with dredging tools. The cockle harvest begins in November and is active from December, during which time the cockles are successfully fattened, harvesting takes place for several months until March of the following year. Fishing boats are equipped with fishing gear such as seine nets and ranking equipment to harvest oysters. For fishermen, perhaps the happiest moment is when they pull the net onto the deck of the boat, tons of blood cockle fit in the net, signaling a bountiful harvest day. After casting their nets, the fishermen on the boat clean and sort the cockles right on the spot. They select quality oysters and bag them before landing, eliminating unqualified ones. Fishermen classify cockles very carefully. On the conveyor belts, blood cockles are selected and packed into mesh bags, partially drained, and the cockles can still survive until being transported to the processing plant or seafood market. Blood cockle harvesting in Korea is very developed. It has become one of the main sources of income for coastal fishermen. However, harvesting oysters in winter makes it more difficult for fishermen because of the cold weather. However, blood cockles have quite high value so harvesting also brings joy to them. Not only caught at sea, blood cockles are also widely farmed in Southeast Asian countries with a model of farming in saltwater ponds and lakes. To effectively raise blood cockles, it is important to choose a suitable breeding ground, usually in places with little wind and waves and near river mouths, but pay attention to salt concentration to avoid affecting the development of cockles. The best soil is soft mud mixed with fine sand, flat mud surface with a mud layer thickness of about 3 to 6 cm, sandy soil mixed with mud with a mud ratio of about 70 to 80%. Thick or thin requirements depend on the size of the seed scallops. The time of stocking must be appropriate. Do not release when the tide recedes to avoid the seed being swept out to sea. 
blood cockles raised after one year are usually about 2 cm in size. The longer they are kept, the higher the death rate of blood cockles, so they need to be harvested as soon as they reach 2 to 3 cm in size. Harvest time is from November to March. At this time, the oyster meat is firm and has a delicious taste. Blood cockles are rich in various nutrients such as protein, calcium, and vitamins. The ingredients that deserve special attention is the amino acid betaine with a high content of 560 mg per 100 grams of blood cockle. It has excellent effects in preventing arteriosclerosis and improving liver function and research results also, it has been reported that it can be developed into an anti-cancer agent or functional food that prevents and controls cancer cells. In some Asian countries, blood cockles are also a very popular street food and are processed into various dishes. The simplest is blood cockles steamed with lemongrass and chili, which also has a characteristic sweet taste. Do you know why this species of clam is called blood cockle? Because their meat contains a red liquid, they are called blood cockles. Although the shape is similar to other clams such as rice clams or feather clams, the price of blood cockles is three times higher than other clams. Normally, depending on the different sizes, blood cockles cost from $10 to $50 per kilogram. In Japan, blood cockles are processed into sweet and nutritious sashimi dishes served with typical dipping sauces that will make it difficult for diners to resist its flavor. Today's video ends here. Hope we have brought you an interesting topic. How do you feel today? Please comment a lot below to let us know. Don't forget, click like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. And for now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.